I am Chucky, the killer dog, and I dig it! Wanna Welcome to another 31 Days of Halloween. Today we're working on Chucky, post haunting. And to start off, I'm going in with a red eyeliner to map out the cuts and scrapes on my face to basically just match Chucky's. I'm using a red because it's just as easy to wipe off when I've made a mistake, which is bound to happen. Honestly, it's me. And it's also a good base to start out our cuts with. You can play this by ear when mapping it out, but I would recommend using a reference picture as I did as well. Once you're all prettied up, it's time for some truly scary stuff. Rigid Clodian. Now, this stuff has a lot of precautions to consider before actually using it. For example, you shouldn't use it on the same area multiple times, days in a row. As well as if you feel any irritation, as with a lot of special effects products, remove it immediately using something like isoprofoam state or any other type of remover. Keep a decent distance away from your eyes, and when working even slightly close to them, keep your eyes closed. And if you're wanting to stay all night, I would recommend sealing it as well with any kind of sealer. You can also skip this step entirely and just build up some liquid latex to your desired height however when used properly this gives the perfect effect for what this look calls for so as you've seen the directions for this are pretty simple just put this along any place that you'd like to create a scarring effect this is why i put the eyeliner down as well it's very difficult to see where you're actually putting this product down until it's dried and puckered unless you've already mapped that area out as i have once you've got your desired effect then just move on I'm using some eyeshadows including black, purple, and pink, as well as a few brushes, a pencil brush, a blending brush, and a dense packing brush. This is pretty self-explanatory, just mixing and blending the colors around and together until it looks like you've basically just been punched in the eye. Then I'm using my spirit gum as my adhesive to secure my piece of thread, future staple job. These are just some pieces of embroidery thread I picked up from the dollar store and cut up to the length that I wanted them. <laughs> then I also added my staples which I cut a little bit off the bottom of to make it look like it was actually stapled into my skin, basically just more realistic. I also have a little costume that I picked up from the thrift store and DIY'd. Then adding the final touches with an orange wig and that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.